Welcome back all my Minecrafting friends. This is the final player update of the August 2014 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. The Max Rider Challenge, create a village from scratch. And... This is my, uh... My world a few days after the challenge is over. Of course, I, I wasn't able to get any uh, zombie villagers cured during the challenge, but afterwards, I got those two cured, and they bred him, and they did it by using these doors here I have. I have all these little doors on the outside. It's not much of a village. Doesn't have houses or anything pretty. Just kind of there. If I wanted to spend a lot of time, I could like take this, you know, these villagers as a starting point and just build whatever kind of village I wanted here. But I probably won't put the time into it because I've already built that other world that you. You know, that I've been doing the player updates from. Same seed. Uh, anyway, let's get to what you guys did. Uh, they're they're kind of noisy. Let's move over here. Yeah, that's good. can't hear them. Farm is doing good. Uh. Okay, let's start with Friar Nurgle. Friar Nurgle on day nine uh, worked on a big house. Much nicer looking house than mine. Uh. He has two villagers and ten doors. He was not able to get his villagers to breed. I think there could have been a... Yeah, he's got a lot of doors like underground where there's no... Uh, in order to get the doors to work... Several people made this mistake. On one side of the door... See that the door is on this block here, okay? On the block over here, in front of it, has to be sunshine. In other words, straight up you can see the sky. On the on the other side of the the door, this block over here has to be covered, okay? So, if your doors, like Friar Nurgle's, are all completely underneath the house and there's no sunshine on, on one side of the door then they don't count as doors for villagers and that's why his villagers didn't breed a few people did that Do something with the sound here. Let's see what do you call this? Friendly creatures? There, that's better. Okay. Next we have Cyan ninety three. Cyan ninety three was uh, cured two zombie villagers on day nine and he worked on a water elevator to take them to the surface but he was not able to finish the water elevator in time so still he had two villagers which was a uh, pretty pretty good accomplishments more than I did more than a lot of people did uh, 
Next we have TNP Minecraft. TNP Minecraft also had two villagers. Uh, he had lots of wheat. His wheat farm was doing really well. But his villagers will not breed. Uh, some sort of a door problem. Probably the same thing. Uh, next we have Draydon. Draydon uh, started his day nine uh, going caving looking for gold. He found some. Uh, then he came back up to the service to uh, to get zombie villagers. And uh, he found some zombie villagers, but they ended up burning up in the sunshine at the end of the challenge. So he wasn't able to trap them and cure them. That's kind of tricky, making a, making a zombie trap. Saw lots of different designs of zombie traps in this challenge, so... You know, if you watched everybody's videos like I did, you you would have learned a lot about trapping zombies. Next we have Piker Eyes. Piker Eyes started out his day nine by fishing. Uh, needed food. Then he cut down trees. Got some apples. Of course, there's not a lot else to do during the day. I guess you could make, uh, make zombie traps and build houses and stuff but he already had his village kind of anyway uh, then night fell and he uh, he did find the zombie villager but he blew it up with a creeper so but then he found another zombie villager did not blow him up he uh, he cured him and he traded with him and got an emerald so Final tally, one zombie villager and one emerald. Good job, Piker Eyes. Next we have Scotty Garbitas. Scotty, as you remember, was using the, uh, the zombie dungeon grinder method along with Nathan. Uh, he was not able to get any zombie villagers from his grinder, so he went up on the surface to look for them on the surface. And indeed, he found them on the surface. Okay, uh, but the one he found that came over to his house uh, had a cadre of bodyguards with him, uh, skeletons, other zombies, spiders, and while uh, while Scotty was uh, focused on trying to kill these other uh, bodyguards without hitting the zombie villager, the spider was able to sneak up behind him and kill him. So, Scotty was killed by a spider in day 9. Next we have Nathan Pelton. Nathan Pelton also was using the uh, dungeon zombie grinder method. He also, along with Scotty, was not able to get any zombie villagers, even though he stayed there and worked it till the last minute. The entire day 9 episode, uh, he was there working his zombie grinder, killing all the regular zombies, waiting for the zombie villager, which never came. So, I don't know if that says anything about that method. Uh, it seems to me that if I was doing this challenge again, I would probably try and use the surface capture method. Next we have uh, the team of Max Ryder, Paisley Playfully, and Sayu Lily. If you remember, Paisley died uh, in the episode before this, or a couple episodes ago. I can't remember exactly, but yes, she's she's been killed by a uh, killed in the Nether by a ghast. Okay, in a prior episode, but Max and Sayu Lily continued on, and uh, see Max was cutting trees. Uh, Sayu Lily was down in the ravine looking for gold. Uh, and killing lots of zombies. She got a carrot and a potato on day nine. So they would be set for starting getting their farming started. Uh, Max got a few apples from tree cutting. Night fell. They uh, tried to find zombie villagers. Were not able to capture any. So 
They ended the challenge with no zombie villagers. Well, I'm sure you'll do better in September, Max, and Sally Lily and Paisley. Although I Paisley said she's gonna take a break from the MHC, so that's really disappointing. But maybe she'll come back someday. Next we have Crazy TKD Dude. Crazy TKD Dude had a thunderstorm on day nine, which really helped out his uh, his spawning opportunities. They were able to spawn in the daytime and night. I don't know why no one else had a thunderstorm on day nine. Uh, of course, it's difficult to keep the uh, to keep the day schedule straight on Minecraft, especially if you're using uh, servers. So, could have been something to do with that. Anyway, he was able to capture and cure two zombie villagers. So, yes, his final score was two zombie villagers. Next we have uh, Baker Bell. Baker Bell uh, had two villagers, I think, at the, the, the last one. Uh, she had already captured both of them and given them the cure in day eight. But in day nine, the last one uh, finally converted over to villager. And uh, then she worked on a fence, made a big fence around the area, uh, built a little farm, built a house. So she's got a nice little village there, two villagers. Next we have Lanio. Lanio started out with two villagers on day nine, which he got on the prior day. Uh, and he was able to get uh, his, his doors arranged such that his villagers did breed and he got a baby villager. So he was the only one in the challenge that I saw that successfully breeded his two villagers. Okay. Uh, and for that reason, I would say that he did the best. So congratulations, Lanio. I hope you get lots of votes. I voted for you. Next we have, oh speaking of voting, uh, the voting uh, video is up on Senior Eustace's channel, so run over there and vote for whoever your favorite team was, whoever you think did the best. You don't have to agree with me, you don't have to take my opinion, uh, just go over there and vote, because uh, more votes the better. Next we have Chris Gaming and Talbotron. Uh, they started out their day nine uh, by eating some mushroom stew. Then they worked on building because they already had two villagers from day eight. Uh, and Talbotron or Christ Gaming, I don't know which, uh, built a mini temple, which was really cool looking. They also, you know, have their their little village that you know houses and, and perimeter and stuff that they'd already finished uh, or maybe they don't have a perimeter maybe they just have houses and uh, at the end of the episode they planted a lot of saplings so they have like 50 saplings or something so if they decide to continue on in this world they're gonna have a forest around their village hello there uh, Next we have the team of Psycho SFK and Crazy Kenzie. They uh, started out their day nine by doing some carrot farming. Uh, their carrot farm is doing well. They built a house and they were able to capture and cure one zombie villager. So they ended up with one villager and a nice little village. Next we have Zoe Phi C in her German version. She started out the episode by working on the stone fencing. She's trying to put a, a nice secure perimeter around the village. She ran out of stone fencing, so then she went and cut some trees, converted those into wood fencing, and continued on. She did. She was able to get the uh, the village perimeter secured. She ended up the the uh, challenge with two villagers, which she had gotten uh, on day eight 
and she also put a a grave marker for nest flow who died in day eight so good job Zoe you got the, the village and the two villagers I would say everyone that that cured any villagers at any point actually completed the objectives of the challenge but you know above and beyond that you know you could you could go and uh, actually have more villagers a better village uh, breeding villagers baby villagers uh, next we have Ollie likes Minecraft Ollie likes Minecraft uh, made some bread at the beginning of his episode uh, and in the evening he tried to find zombie villagers uh, unsuccessfully did not find any zombie villagers kinda like me I didn't find any zombie villagers on day 9 either next we have combat dude combat dude started out his day 9 with three villagers so he was already ahead of the pack at that point he uh, he built some houses they're kind of like square little houses but you know maybe it's a mining town and it's just guys and, you know it doesn't really matter what they look like he did some farming uh, he's farming carrots and potatoes so good good job there I don't think he even attempted uh, using the door trick I think he thought that he had enough doors. I think he's got like four doors there. And I think he thinks that just wait enough time and the villagers will breed. But you gotta have more doors. You, basically you have to have three times as many doors as you've got villagers. So if you've got 12 doors, that will produce up to four villagers. You know, if you've got 15 doors, that should give you a, a total population of five villagers. 18 doors, 6 villagers. Uh, 4 doors, 1 villager. Okay, so I don't think his villagers are going to breed no matter how long he waits. Next we have Senior Eustace. Senior Eustace has got all his doors on the roof. Okay, and he's got a lot of doors up there, but none of them. He's got sunshine on one side, but he does not have cover on the other side. So, they will not work and his villagers did not breed okay but he did end up with his three villagers and his nice little village so good job senior Eustace next we have dad versus minecraft uh, it was dad and his two sons a beardless kid and uh, Dom and as you remember Dom died very early on I think around day three uh, somewhere around there they spent the daytime building, working on the village, getting it all fixed up nice. Uh, they also did some fishing, get some food. They uh, did a little potato farming. Nighttime fell, and they caught two zombie villagers. So lucky them. Uh, they were able to cure both of them. And... Uh, one of them was uh, an adult zombie villager and the other one was a baby zombie villager so they were able to capture and cure a baby zombie villager which is I think the only other person in the challenge that was able to do that was uh, was Zoe Phi C okay so and finally we have Boo Games Boo Games uh, made a diamond spade because you don't want those diamonds to go to waste uh, collected some sand he's got two zombie villagers I mean two villagers rather uh, he built a fountain for his village first fountain I saw he's got a nice little village the uh, aesthetics are very nice very good looks nice and at the end of the challenge he he burned down burned down a giant tree giant oak tree set it on fire watch it burn it was it was pretty cool and that that's it the August challenge is over uh, 
make sure you run over to Senior Eustace's channel and uh, vote for the best solo player and the best team player. Uh, also, Technoscribe wants me to announce that she is going to be making a uh, compilation video of all of the deaths in in the August challenge and she wants all of your permissions to use uh, to use your video from your channel a brief clip uh, in her compilation and uh, so if you would if you did die and you're still watching this video and you would like to give her permission then please put a comment saying that you you do or send her a message or something and uh, if you're not watching this video you know I would I would advise uh, Technoscribe to uh, either contact you individually or uh, just go ahead and use it and if if anyone objects then you can take it down and re-edit it take them out put it back up without them okay but I don't think anyone would object uh, in the past I have used uh, video clips from your from your ch series in uh, compilations and no one has objected and uh, so I would I would say Technoscribe go right ahead with the project and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it so now let's talk about the September challenge the September challenge is going to be something different than we've ever done before we will not be getting our wood from trees we'll be getting our wood from other sources uh, and uh, there's been uh, quite quite a few new players signing up uh, lots of times new players sign up and they don't actually post videos but we'll see I hope that they do uh, I'm, I'm really excited that uh, as you can tell from my voice and I'm really excited that the uh, challenge is attracting new players and more people are hearing about it so if uh, if any of you out there uh, you know want to spend a little time uh, spreading the word about the MHC that would be very appreciated uh, so you know leave comments and messages uh, tell your friends uh, tell strangers tell anyone that you like or anyone that you see uh, you could just go out there and uh, do a do a video search for Minecraft hardcore and you know put it on a filter for today so that you just get the people that are currently posting hardcore videos and leave them a comment saying hey have you heard about the MHC would you like to try it out you know this is where you can find the information about it uh, it's open to everyone we'd love to have you uh, you know join in it's lots of fun and uh, this is Mike Deering signing out I'll see you all in September